Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ABAP on HANA and currently we are covering the various features or core concepts of SAP HANA and as a part of that, in the last video, we started with the core concept insert only on data, which is also called as insert only approach in SAP HANA for column storage tables. Yes, everything is insert. It means if you go for update, if you go for delete system, consider it as insert only. Yes. Now, after that, we covered what is main part and what is data part. Main part, in the main part, data is in compressed format and no direct changes. It is read-only part. Yes, the data table, it is uncompressed. Yes, and whatever the DML operations means, insert, update, delete, it is on to the data part. Yes. After that, we covered what is delta merge process or delta process. Delta merge process terminology is saying it is merging the changes of delta part to main part. After that, we covered, yes, how, how SAP HANA behaves in case of insert. Whenever you are going for insert database operation or insert statement, the record firstly will go to delta part, yes. Then after that, the delta merge process will merge the changes from delta part to the main part. See, we are not going for direct changes onto this main part. It is always, always on the delta. That's why it is saying insert only on delta. Now, into this video, firstly, we will understand how update is, how delete is, then we will understand why SAP HANA is following this approach that we are not going for direct changes onto the main part, it is on delta part and then we are merging the changes. So now we will move on to update. Now what is update? You all know in update we are updating the details of the record. Suppose for this particular order number 457, we want to update the customer currency and amount. Suppose for order number 457, we want to set the customer to Sorali, suppose currency INR and suppose amount is 1000. Suppose for this order number 457, we want to update these three things. Now, this will not go into mail table. We will not change the main table directly. Yes, changes will firstly, firstly go to the delta part. Now, people will think this record will go to delta part and it will update the customer currency and amount. No, it will not work in this manner. This record will act as a new record here. This record will act as a new record here. So whenever we are updating, so whatever the new version of the record is there, it will act as a insert on the data part. So whatever the new details you are setting, it will act as a insert to this data part. And yes, Along with this, SAP will simply, simply invalidate this record. SAP will set a invalid indicator because now this is the new version. This is the old version. So you can simply understand SAP will invalidate the old version and new version will be inserted. So we have two things. So never think that record will be directly updated into the delta part. No, whatever the new version is there, it will be inserted to the delta part and the old version of the record SAP will set a invalid indicator. Now, this changes, we need to move or we need to merge it to this main part. Yes, main table. 
because that is our main thing. So how it will be? You all know we have a delta merge process. So what delta merge process will do? This new version, this new version of the record will be inserted and this old version of the record, yes, because this is also a change. This old version of the record will also go and SAP will see, yes, this is a in, invalid version. So SAP will simply, simply make this as invalid. Now, after some time, whenever this record is not required, SAP will simply, simply delete this record. We will again go for the understanding how it will work. Firstly, whenever you are going for update, never think that the record will be directly updated into the delta part. No, SAP will simply insert a new version of the record. So it means it is insert. Parallelly, whatever the old version is there, SAP will set this as invalid. Because this is invalid now, yes, because we have the new version now. Now we have a merge process. Merge process will merge the changes from delta part to main part. So you have how many changes? This is the change. This is the change. So this is new version. Yes, it will be inserted. So SAP will check this is a invalid or old version. So whenever this change will merge, so SAP will simply set this to invalid. And whenever it is not required, or we can say whenever there are no open transactions, SAP will simply, simply delete this record. Because now we have the updated version. So it should be deleted, yes. So if we will go for simple conclusion, your update is acting as two things. You are firstly going for insert of new version and you are deleting the old version. That's why it is written, yes, therefore update internally performs insert plus delete. Now I will read the theory and you will get the more and more clarity. We can say guaranteed 100% clarity. Now an update statement inserts a new version of the record to delta part. New version of the record is inserted to delta part. And the old version is marked as invalid. The old version is marked as invalid. Now, delta merge process merges the changes of delta part to main part. Yes, the changes will be merged from delta part to main part. And then the changes will be merged. New version is available. The new version of the record is available in the main part. Yes, SAP will do the sorting also. It will go up. That's a different thing. Yes. And you can say old versions are deleted when there is no open transaction because we need to delete. SAP will delete also because now it is invalid. So SAP will delete this particular record. So you can see update internally performs insert plus delete both. So this is the full understanding of update operation. And we use the word insert only on delta. So SAP is doing everything onto the delta part. That's why the name of the feature itself insert only on delta. Now we will move on to our delete operation. Now suppose you want to delete the records. So how it will behave in SAP HANA? Now up to this level you are very much clear. Nothing will happen to main part directly. It will always always on to the delta part. So delete statement select the record and mark it as invalid in the delta part. Suppose we want to delete order number 458. We have written a statement, delete database table name. Suppose database table name is Z test. We have written where order is equal to 458. Suppose we want to delete the order number 458. 
So 458 will not delete from the main part. Firstly, system will go to delta part. Whenever you will go for delete statement, system will simply mark it as invalid. It means this record is marked as invalid. Now you all know this changes now should go to main part and we have a delta merge process. Delta merge process will simply merge the changes from this part to this particular part and SAP will identify yes this record is now invalid. So SAP will mark this as invalid in the main part and yes whenever there is no open transaction SAP will simply simply delete this particular record. This is how it works and have you seen in case of delete also we are firstly going for on to the delta part. That's why it is saying insert only on delta. So you can see a delete statement, select the record and mark it as invalid. It is marked as invalid. Now after that, delta merge process merges the changes of delta part to main part. And whenever there, whenever there is no open transaction, we'll simply simply delete. Yes. Now many people will think if record is getting deleted from the main part, it will delete from delta also. Yes, because if something is invalid, so SAP will delete from the delta part also. Yes, because that's an internal SAP process. Our target is yes. How how SAP is behaving in case of column storage? How SAP HANA is behaving in case of column storage tables for database operations? Insert, update, and delete. Now we will move on to next thing. And many people will think at this point of time, why this much complex approach is there in SAP HANA? We have main table, we have delta table. From delta table, changes are merging onto main table. Why, why this is? But this technique is extremely, extremely performance effective in SAP HANA. We will understand why, why SAP HANA is following this approach. You all, in the main table, data is in compressed format, compressed format. If data is in compressed format, yes, it means it is occupying less memory. Yes, our cost is less. Our less data is moving from main memory to the CPU. So many advantages are there for the compression. Now, now what you are doing, suppose rather than delta part, you are going for direct changes onto the main part. Then what SAP has to do first? Firstly, SAP has to uncompress the data. Then whatever the operation you are performing, suppose you are inserting the record, you are deleting the record, you are updating the record. So firstly, SAP has to uncompress the data. Then SAP has to make the changes. Then SAP has to again compress the data. Just see how much cost effective technique it is. Yes, rather than what SAP is saying, okay, no. Just I will go for a delta part. Whatever you are doing, whatever the changes are there, it will be in delta part. And at regular interval or periodically, yes, changes will be from delta table to main table. Just see if we will go for direct changes on the main table, how much expensive it is for everything we need to uncompress fit the changes, then we need to again compress. But here nothing, because here it is uncompressed already. We'll simply go for the changes, yes, and it will merge to the main table. That's why SAP followed this approach. And if I will read the theory, you will understand. The reason behind this approach is, you all know main table is compressed and changes to compress data is more expensive. Now, how, how we will understand. For any DML operation, suppose you are going for insert, update, delete. You need to firstly uncompress the data. You need to make the changes and then you need to compress again. For every time you need to do this process, for this reason, 
we are just appending that data to uncompressed data tables where the operations are very cheaper because data is already in uncompressed format. You need to just apply the changes and delta merge process merges the changes from delta part to main part. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered how update and delete operation in SAP HANA. Whenever we are going for update operation, it will not update the record directly into delta table. It will insert a new version of the record and old version is marked as invalid. Delta merge process will move the changes. SAP will recognize that this old version is invalid and this is the new version. And after that, whenever there are no open transactions active, SAP will simply, simply delete those invalid records. It means your update is insert plus delete both. Now, after that, we cover delete. Whenever you are going for delete, changes will be on delta part. SAP marked as that record as invalid. Now, changes from delta part will merge with the main part and that record will mark as invalid. And yes, when there is, they are no longer required, SAP will simply delete those records. Yes, after that, we covered why we have it, this approach because your data is in compressed format. If you go for direct changes on the compressed data, it's very expensive because we need to uncompress, do the changes and then compress. So SAP is saying, okay, this is read only. Okay, do everything on the delta part and then merge the changes because it's a very, very cheap technique. Now in the next video, we will cover our next core feature or we can say core concept that is simplified data models. So that's it in this video. Thank you.